The petition on PDP candidate in the House of Representatives election for a Jeremy Falodun Federal constituency, Rita Oji, has made her final submission at the Lagos Tribunal. Honorable Rita Oji is challenging the outcome of the February 23, 2019 election and the rerun held on April 27, which INEC awarded in favor of the APC candidate, Honorable Kolawole Taiwo. Forty witnesses, including three officials of INEC, have so far testified in her favor, with copies of the results issued the polling units tendered in court to corroborate their testimonies. The testifiers condemned the actions of electoral officer to cancel the results of 71 polling units at the collation center, which led to a rerun. They also condemned the conduct of the rerun, which according to them was marred with violence and malpractice. The resumed proceedings of the tribunal almost became a shouting contest between the petitioner and lead counsel to INEC. Rita Urge claimed 1,220 votes were deducted from her votes at the collation center, while 887 were added to the votes of the second respondent, Honorable Kolawole Taiwo, in a plot to obtain her victory. The counsel to INEC, however, insists the electoral body wasn't complicit in the outcome of the rerun election and prayed the court to discard her plea, which, according to him, lacks merit. What we want is for INEC to come and substantiate why an election that, held, that took place same day, three elections, one for House of Reps, one for Senate, and that of Presidency on same date. You will now cancel, single out that of House of Reps and cancel it based on violence. Is it possible for violence to affect only one of those three elections and not affect the other two? The margin, the margin that will have made them not to declare result for that of the presidential and that of the Senate was insignificant mm. as against that of the Reps, which has a federal constituency with a limited number of people. So which makes INEC to actually order the run in those places. An INEC official, a supervising polling officer at the election, Mr. Ebuka Onosike, who testified in favor of the petitioner, noted that he and his polling officer were instructed by electoral officer Mr. Adeshola Adelaja to destroy election results of the poll. The reason why I came out for this is because of the things I've been hearing, that my name has been mentioned in Abuja, a strange number that I couldn't even record the conversation. When this number calls me, I try to record, I can't. Now, my name, I was told that my name has been mentioned, that I was the one who cancelled the election for that particular polling unit. I don't know how. I don't know how an SPO would cancel an election. He was the highest ranked officer here. And for God's sake, he was the one who asked me to do this. So who else would I report to? Who? The case has now been adjourned.